Hi, it's Linda Ferguson of NLP Canada Training here with another in our series of video shorts on storytelling for influence. We're filming today in Stanley Park in Vancouver, British Columbia. You can hear the waves hitting the shore and you might be able to hear people walking by or the sound of the breeze through the bushes and the trees. It is a beautifully balanced place a place rich with story possibilities, the kind of place that makes everyone feel more of a storyteller. What I'd like to talk to you about today are the three basic categories of story. Now, there are a lot of different ways of talking about stories, but I think you'll find listening for just these three kinds of stories in your own storytelling and in the stories that people tell you is going to give you a real uh, simple way of tracking information about where people are and where they're going. The first kind of stories that are part of all human storytelling really are quest stories. They're stories about how somebody goes after something they want and people will tell these at work in terms of going after business objectives. They will tell them about sporting events and athletic achievements. They'll tell them about achievements at home, whether it's maybe a home reno or something they've done with the family. They'll tell them about vacations. So wherever you go, people are going to be telling you stories about how they pursue the things they want. And with that information, you will be able to tell your own stories about the pursuit of things that you want that suggest to people that you're on the same page, that you move in the same way with the same expectations. The second category of stories are stories about conflict or competition. And again, you will hear these everywhere from the hallways at work, stories about takeovers, mergers, acquisitions, new people coming into the department, project teams being changed up. You'll hear them about other aspects of people's lives and you will tell them. Sometimes they overlap with quest stories. Sometimes people think that the only way to get what they want is to beat somebody else and win it. Other times people will tell stories that are much more collaborative. So you really want to listen to stories that you're hearing about competition and understand how people think about power and balance and how they feel about collaboration and cooperation. And that will give you tremendous insight into where you need to go next to be moving in their view of the world. Last kind of story I'd like you to think about are stories about what people want to hold on to. And these tend to be stories about how people preserve value and integrity in the face of a world that is not necessarily negative, but is certainly always in transition, always changing. And as human beings, we are always changing. Uh, we have no cells in our body that were part of our body seven years ago. Our memories are uncertain, they feel real, but if you go back and check them, often they're not entirely the way things happen. So to be a human being is to have a lot of insecurity about how things change and stories about either treasures that people hold on to or junk that people hold on to tell you a lot about how they maintain identity in times of transition and that information is tremendously helpful particularly if you are thinking about leading someone through a transition. So three types of stories, quests, competitions, and stories about what people hold on to. Think about it. I'm Linda Ferguson, NLP Canada Training.